Safe Word with Jason Rouse. Hey everybody, this is uh, Jason Rouse yeah, and uh, welcome uh, to the Safe Word podcast. We got uh, Mikey uh, Biggs and Jeff Hilliard. Uh, is, is Hilliard your your uh, birth name, Jeff? It is, yeah. I think yeah. I would have come up with a more interesting name if I was going to make up a name. That's what I was going to say with uh, uh, Mikey here. He yeah. picked a Biggs instead of Bigum. Yeah. But Bigum works better, I think. Do you, you, you're like, you call yourself Biggs, his last mm -hmm. name? Do you mm -hmm. have like a really small penis or something? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get him, yeah. Jeff. Get him. Unrelated. Don't think he's an asshole from L.A. That's but unrelated. Bit, but yes. Uh, we got uh, no dick. <laughs> No fear. See, you're from Texas. You yeah. fuck with people with guns. Right, yeah. Jeff <laughs> used to fucking do announcements on tour buses uh -huh. for people who were too fat to walk. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that uh -huh. yeah. is what you're working uh -huh. towards. That's okay. This is if you in the future. Out, yeah. This is the best case scenario for, yeah. for you. I'll take this it. This is the best case scenario for you. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Je Jeff, we, we were saying earlier, you moved to L.A., what, 89? <laughs> 1998. 98. Sorry, yeah. I mixed up the nines and eight. <laughs> Dyslexic. 98, you show up in Hollywood. Right. Uh, start doing comedy immediately? Uh, no, I... Were you, did you come to Hollywood to find yourself? No, no, I was. I wanted to be a character actor. Oh, yeah. And that's that was a game plan. So I started doing that in college in Kansas City. And then I came to Los Angeles. Uh, and then I started doing stand-up a couple months after I got there. Because people were like, you know, you're really funny. And then I always wanted to do that. I just didn't know how all that worked. Yeah. So I did. And you started in L.A., which might be the worst place to get a career yes. off the ground. Like, you, honestly, and with all due respect, you've made a lot of bad decisions. Definitely. <laughs> Continued. I'm trying to help you. Yeah. What do you mean? I'm this, this is, yeah. this is, this is like a best worst case. Yeah. I think you guys are pretty yeah. cool. I don't mean to group you in. No, but sometimes yeah. people fall up. They fail upwards. Mm -hmm. I yeah, haven't. yeah. You, just, ha you I've, haven't done that. I've fallen sideways. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> you just went horizontal. Yeah, it's not. It's uh, like a. It's it's like a lateral move uh -huh. of just like like a corpse being pushed over into a river. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's like, Jeff's career. Yeah. Like just what always, did you do? Just, well, yeah, what, what have you done with yourself? Yeah. Get this get thing in the this. water, it stinks. <laughs> it stinks. It really... Yeah. Uh, but no, let's be honest, you know. Uh, I've seen you... You know, we've, we've known each other for probably close to, I don't know, eight, nine years, maybe. Yeah. And... Uh, you did a couple of things, and then over the last couple of years, you've been extra busy. Yeah, that's what happens. Yeah, what happened? You uh, wrote, um, directing some stuff, acting, all kinds of... I saw your social media. He yeah. actually put stuff on his social media so people know that he's actually in the business. That's a good idea. Four pictures. That's, yeah, yeah. that's good. I Four like that. pictures. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't have it Four. before comedy, so... I'm figuring but it out. That picture of the cow out. was supposed to be a picture of you doing stand-up. Oh, that's right. There was actually a picture of a cow. Yeah, yeah. He's off to... He has, like... You, you You didn't even have MySpace coming into this. He's got a, right. a, 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 a tremendous amount of... So, so all these various platforms that produce and put out your own content... He's got three pictures of, and two of them are cows. Yeah. Uh, you're like an exclusive. Like to find you, you have to mm -hmm. like really search for you. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, There's I don't think anybody's enough. searching yet, so yeah, I just I haven't really thought about it. Give so them a far. reason. <laughs> yeah. Jason's the first person who's ever said anything about it. I pulled you're the it only up. person who knows I'm on the internet. <laughs> I looked. I'm like, I think I got the wrong guy. Uh -huh. I swear he was doing stand up. Not uh -huh. one flyer. I not like even, that. not even self indulgent. Yeah. Like, hey, here's me on stage. <laughs> no, but is they, this like a secret thing you're doing that no one in your personal life knows? That you're no, doing they all know. They all know. I just, uh, I'm, I'm so bad. I'm so, I don't want to post anything. Yeah, I don't, I don't that's a, post that's anything. great. That's, that's, that's right. the best way to start. As long right. as a lot of people think yeah. they're amazing and they never yeah. ever right. become anything. Yeah. That's yeah. Any good. Yeah. yeah. That 
might be your hook, actually. Yeah. Go look at it. Me I don't even all. deserve <laughs> to live. <laughs> well, you are a white male, so it's yeah. probably, you're, you're that age where you've probably been bombarded with that. Like, mm-hmm. you do not even deserve to be able to be have a microphone. Right. right. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You shouldn't even be in the room. Every, every, actually, <laughs> between the two of us, yeah. uh, but if you put Jeff's and my career together, mm-hmm. we could totally dismiss you as a lesser. Yeah, for sure. You get yeah, out. You get like a full range. Special needs Se- yeah. Separately, you've you've got the uh, yeah. uh, the conversation. Uh-huh. So you, you just start doing stand up. <laughs> <laughs> you have some candy I could less eat. Than a year, <laughs> less than a year. He's oh, gonna wow. make a go of it, yeah. Jeff. Like, how old are you? Uh, Twenty five. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. That's kind of a late start in the stand up. No, yeah, I know. Yeah. He's eighteen. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I got some old face. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Have you made any bad decisions with tattoos? Uh, with tattoos, you've yeah. got famous tattoos. Yeah, you've yeah. got famous yeah. tattoos. I didn't think about that. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Jeff's got famous. Tattoos. The tattoos themselves. I do or? not. I have a picture <laughs> of my friend's asshole that I show the people. You've seen yeah. Boomer's That's asshole. A good one, yeah. I'm pretty yeah. sick. Pretty it's sick. pretty funny, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, but uh, no tattoos? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have Silver Dude tattooed on my neck. And I don't know. Or not only my neck, but my collarbone. I don't know okay. what the story is for that. Who's I was Silver Dude? I don't know. Yeah, Look, I was, Jeff's I woke moderately up. jealous. He's like, yeah. you know what? I could do a Silver Dude. Yeah. I woke up. I, I don't it. think you represent the <laughs> Silver Dude appropriately. Right. Is right, it, yeah, I think I need to be cooler. The guy that paints himself silver yeah. and does like the thing on I, th- that so, yeah. silver dude is that? I was a really about? big fan of the Silver Surfer from Fantastic Four and the regular show. It's a cartoon, and they have an episode about a guy who does that. And I yeah. think that's what it's from. But I got it when I was really hammered, and I just I woke up with it. But I, I'm almost positive. You know, that's what, wait, hey, was Abby. it? It's like it's like a, uh, it just says Silver Dude or yeah, it's painted. Right. Oh, well, <laughs> it's okay. and small. I don't have much money, so I could afford. Were you but, thinking? I'm Becoming oh like God. the silver guy. Yeah, no, no, I didn't want to become that guy. Just, He's talking to you like yeah. you're supposed to get in the band. Uh, I know, man. Like, hey, come here. We can cover those tattoos yeah. up with cum shots. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't last. Yeah. Um. Uh, like you'd be honestly. Someone would get you in L.A. You think so? Yeah. I don't think I would get out enough for anybody to get me. No, but that's yeah. the thing. They wouldn't be able to find him. Yeah. They wouldn't find him in shows. He would yeah. go to a 7 Eleven <laughs> to get some, a bag right. of chips, mm-hmm. pack of smokes or something. Yeah. And on the way home, you know that 7 Eleven at Hollywood Highland? Yeah. 2 a.m. on a Friday. What right. could go wrong? Right. Mm-hmm. You yeah. would meet a lot of like older guys that would want to help out your career. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. yeah. Great. Yeah, that sounds awesome. your asshole. Yeah. Throwing a hairbrush Very at friendly. you. Very yeah. friendly. Sick. Yeah. yeah. How Hollywood many times have you been great. accosted yeah. by... Well, you know, a lot when I was younger. And then as you get older, you start to lose the luster and now i'm just walking i'm like in the fucking <laughs> locker room at the gym just fucking naked with like with my legs over my head and some baby powder it's like hey can you help me out nothing they don't even pay somebody, attention somebody to please me. you got shit so you got pushed out of rape yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. that's right, that's right. <laughs> you got pushed out of rape you're unrapeable now, you on the other now, hand are very, very rapeable yeah. oh for sure and yeah. i'm not even like yeah. I just know. You know, yeah, right? Yeah. And not to mention... Yeah. It's dangerous out there. First of it's, all, uh, look it. sounds dangerous. We're, you're probably framing the gross part of it. Mm-hmm. The upside is... Success. S- Susan, who gives a shit, down at HBO, sees you at an open mic because she's there to see one of her clients and goes, that kid's asshole is mine. Yeah. <laughs> right? He can take a cop. And she yells yeah. at him yeah, in yeah, the back yeah, of the yeah, room. Yeah. No, yeah. no, no. Yeah. She's not going to sodomize him. Yeah. Jeff, yeah. Jeff, yeah. Jeff, yeah. Jeff yeah. 98. It was different, man. <laughs> they go full hole. Yeah. This girl will keep you on a leash and make okay. you and throw cups yeah. of hot piss in your Maybe face. Like a sissy cuck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's the way to make it now. Yeah, that is. Maybe you got to be someone's a co- pet. Throw a collar on and dress. You got to be someone's pet. You have to wear a dress. Do you, uh, do you yeah. figure out your sexuality yet? Yeah, I think better so. not be Pretty cis sure. because yeah. that's going to be a waste of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, working on, I'm working on it, but yeah. <laughs> well, let's. Uh, you need to be confused to right, start out with right, like yeah, some yeah. kind of pan. Uh-huh. Diverse. You need to come out as bi on stage. I think that's the move. Yeah. Are you determined yeah. to stay uh, uh, out of the idea of potentially having to move back to your hometown? Mm-hmm. Do I not want to move yeah. back to my? Yeah, yeah, no, no. no. Okay, yeah. so you're look. Mm-hmm. 
it's like someone's gonna spit in your asshole, man. Yeah, if you want to make way it, right? it, stick around. <laughs> I'm being She's polite. Gonna, his mom's yeah. gonna be watching this, yeah. right? And I know we be talked like, about her yeah. early. Yeah, Jason's gonna send it. To her, so. <laughs> I follow her. Yeah. She cute. She's cool. <laughs> Jeff's a motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you must, like, for, for somebody, you know, because the entertainment industry is collapsed in Hollywood. Yeah. What would, would, would a young hopeful coming to L.A. to get a spot, maybe at the Laugh Factory or the Comedy Store or the Improv? I don't even know. What, what, what would uh, like, yeah. um... <laughs> <laughs> do they still do st comedy? I don't even think the, no. the goal is to be funny. I think you just mm -hmm. got to go up there and do yeah. a bunch of like activist stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you just to alienate the audience with hard yeah. religious yeah. Yeah. guide. Like, yeah. Just whatever the activists yeah. like, like whatever they say yeah, in their open list with of a, stuff. Open to, with yeah. a pronouns joke. That's, yeah, yeah. That's, a, no, that's a strong we'll opener. Know, open up and go on about first of all, yeah. announce your pronouns, yeah. and yeah. then just just talk about how awful I guess white men are, right? Yeah. Right. How much I hate myself yeah. every how day. I, yeah. yeah. Looking in the mirror. Yes. Just, oh God. Just how yeah. disgusted you are. And talk being how alive. you're talking now, like into yeah. the microphone, <laughs> like disappointed of, of disappointed everything. In everything I've done up to this point. <laughs> Well, what was that? You know, I had a, a taste of, uh, you know, some highlights of the comedy era over the last 20 or 30 years in L.A. You know, when you showed up, it was kind of end of the peak, right? You I got started, the tail end of I started it. doing stand-up in 98, and that was before, that was when that was like, getting on stage in Los Angeles was a big deal because it was all celebrities, and there wasn't as many... Dublin's like rooms. We yeah, had Dublin's hadn't started yet. Oh, okay. That was yeah. When I showed up, the, Dublin's was was a, one of the places. There were a lot of cool. There was like uh, Largo. Yeah. Uh, had a. There was like different pockets of different types of scene. There was yeah, a different scene. Scenes. Different scenes. Yeah. Uh, the comedy store back then was pretty brutal. It was not a fun hangout. No, it even was, when I got there in 2007, I yeah. remember being horrified because a lot of my green card thing was all the documentaries and the comedy store, the comedy store, yeah. the com Mitzi Shore, you know, the whole yeah, laundry list of all the people that I idolized and looked up had either passed through that place. And when I'd got there, I didn't know it was open. It well, was, she was kind of, like she was kind of ahead of her time. So back in 98, she was doing a lot of like the diversity type comedian. So she would have like, if you came to town and you were like, uh, like a Pakistani albino, with like a missing a leg or something, but it was you geek. just you were there on stage, and they were, and they didn't have an act or anything, but they were. <laughs> and it was carnival acts, and they were always there. They just yeah. kept putting anything yeah. that was like the diversity thing, and I I thought it was great that they were trying to get the diversity thing, but it was it was a tough thing to sit through. Well, a lot of those quote diversity is mentally ill people. Yeah, that's there's a lot of that Criminally going on there. Insane. Yeah. <laughs> like a lot of these people get murdered, yeah, end up on the street, yeah, addicted to drugs, or just don't go away. Yeah, that's the one great thing about comedy is it's a home for the more weird and more of a failure or outcast you are in life, you can go. That's like the lowest level of entertainment. Yeah, that's what I always think. It's funny when they talk about like comedians like punching down. I'm like, no, no, no. If you're a comedian. <clears throat> You are at the fringe of society. You are the yeah. lowest ring of, you know, you're... Sometimes you're punching down to elevate <laughs> yeah, yourself. Yeah. Yeah. To, I don't know what you're punching your place. down to. Yeah. yeah. Like you're beating up farm animals? I don't understand, yeah. like, what... No, yeah, you know, no. but you're also... Pr you, you're a retired wild man. Retired, yeah. Yeah, you do wild stuff with cool people, but... You ain't running the streets of Hollywood no. at 5 a.m. with no. a knife in your teeth. No, 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 no. That happens. Yeah. yeah, you have to go through that when you're young. At your I age mean, right now, you could really go for it. Mm -hmm. How yeah. many times have you cried in living in Los Angeles? On, mm -hmm. on a 10 year count, uh, 10, on a t yeah, in 10 years? A lot. 10 <laughs> times once a year? <laughs> Once a year? Probably every night before I go to bed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that's like, just maintenance. Yeah, just cry yourself just to, to sleep. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I'll force myself yeah. to cry mm -hmm. when I lived in L.A. Yeah. to see if yeah. I still have feelings. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, just, I had yeah. to test the pipe. <laughs> to force it out, you know? Like, yeah. This, yeah, am I a human being? It's All fucking right. crazy. Yeah. I'm so relieved. Like, look at, you know... Um, my life has gotten 70% better by moving to Austin. 
Now, really? I wish the... Uh, uh, Look, I love the industry of Los Angeles, of Hollywood. It was a it was a crazy circus to be a part of, and to navigate that and chase what you really wanted to do, and and uh, that was fun. But this is like this is easy peasy down here. This is not. This isn't Texas. Isn't New York, and it ain't Hollywood. But there is a, a movement here. How yeah. long that lasts will determine. But. Um, I think there's some impressions that have been made here in the local community that will carry it at least for another 10 years. Because it's all about Joe Rogan opening up a comedy club It is, it's, and he's, mm. he's seeing this <laughs> mockingly yeah. because yeah. Jeff lives across the street comedy store. He's been spoiled. He knows all these people yeah. uh, from, from open ago. mics. Yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. So to have these conversations of... Uh, a guy from mm. X Factor is now the spearhead of comedy and stand up in North America. Yeah, I remember he did the show that Fear Factor, right? Was that, yeah. was, it, was that the show? Oh, no, yeah, I said X Factor. It's it Fear, Fear Factor. Factor. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. how, yeah, he was. Yeah, he was famous. How many times started. did you audition to get on the Eat? I never Buffalo auditioned for it. No, I, I never auditioned. It was like to be a reality person was like so frowned upon. Like yeah, it was you, like the worst thing You were thing on ever. a Jackass episode, weren't you? No, no, never. No. But no. I saw you getting tattooed with Steve O. But that, no, that was Steve O asked me to get, he wanted to get my <laughs> Santa on a cross tattoo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was like, okay, you know, problem. And then I thought, fuck, that's going to be weird because now I'm going to be the guy yeah, yeah. that like got Steve O's tattooed. And I was like, well, sure. fuck, let's make a video of it. So at least I could be like, no, Doc, no, no. Yeah. I had it. Then I was like, why don't we just get it? each other's tattoo will make a video of it and then I thought that would be a funny sh show called Idiot Inc sure. where people would come on and just get terrible tattoos <laughs> and I don't know why that didn't become a show because no. it would be the greatest show yeah. on television But uh, I think so, a lot of people been on that show unknowingly like, yeah. there's a lot right. of bad tattoos Hollywood's full of like if you want to get a rat's nest tattooed on your throat yeah. mm -hmm. someone will do it for yeah. you mm. well I mean why, why not yeah, why not? What else are you going to do while you're here you on got, the planet? Uh, you know our buddy Abby. Yeah, he's great. Uh, has unemployable tattooed yeah. in, in small, like, uh, yeah. typewriter font like right. that. One of my favorite yeah. tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, I think it's the only one. I think it's only oh, one. I think he got yeah. something else recently. On his arm or something. Those fucking... There's something else on his... Something. I yeah. don't remember. I think I saw a picture. I'm thinking about getting a brown teardrop on the back of my leg. Yeah. <laughs> just to let everybody know at the gym that I don't fuck around. <laughs> and I will spray if you corner me. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking to him earlier about if he'd met a girl in Germany that had some... We'll call them quirks or quirks. You must come, first of all. I don't. Even, I feel rude asking, but you've seen someone get pissed on. Uh, I see. Yeah, I guess I have. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I had to remember. Yeah. Now, in video or in live? No, come on, Jeff. You've seen people get peed on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think like in like real life or. <laughs> what would if you were holding a hot yeah. girl, I, yeah. your I'd, girlfriend's hand, and uh -huh. she said, "Listen, this party's gonna get crazy, but yeah. do not let go of my hand." Right. And Jeff comes out with a <laughs> Superman costume on, with a crotch cut out, uh -huh. climbs to the top of a twelve foot ladder, and then rakes back about six inches of foreskin. It uh -huh. looks like burnt calamari <laughs> yeah. with a thumb wrapped around it. Yeah. And he lets a horse piss. Mm -hmm. Your girlfriend's wig turns around. He pisses yeah. on her so hard. Yeah. <laughs> and she's looking at you hardly like, dude, this is going to be a very serious part of the definition of our relationship. Yeah. This is part of, I know this guy. This is all <laughs> clean. <laughs> Yes. I'm letting go. I want you to be part of my life. Yeah. To the front. That's how much she cares about you. She's super yeah. hot. Yeah. But she is leaning into Jeff's piss. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm letting go. And Jeff's yawning. Yeah. He's bored. Yeah. And the only reason yeah. why she's letting you do that because she saw a stupid video that I made with Steve O of yeah. us getting those tattoos. <laughs> on Somehow that has significance. <laughs> yeah. It's like a cultural is, thing. Yeah. She's, yeah. This is her this is her TikTok. She's, she's all making. the trailer. <laughs> she heard stepfather. Look, he's kinda crying a bit. <laughs> that stepfather yeah. song's good, huh? Kinda rad. Yeah. yeah. Kind of He's kind, of, he's kind of he's kind of like almost bought into the idea that we're going to bring this girl out yeah. and she's going to get pissed on and then feel bad for her at the same time right you guys i'm going to feel bad for her, you guys no well, i don't feel bad she's feel your bad. wife i don't want yeah. anything to do with this 
I wouldn't bring my wife to a Jeff's party. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Jeff gets out the step. I, I see Jeff, yeah. Jeff comes out through like uh, those beaded curtains, but boom, like this, mm-hmm. steps through. Really confident. Yeah, yeah. confidently yeah. hands his glasses to somebody. They put him down on a tray. Mm-hmm. He reaches behind his back out of his underwear uh, band and pulls out a stick of raw asparagus. Yeah. Takes three hard bites, <laughs> swallows them down, <laughs> grabs two pints of fucking yeah. Foster's, pounds them, <laughs> smashes a cup over a guy's face, yeah. and then just trucks up the ladder, <laughs> leans forward, puts his hand behind his neck, and goes... Oh, and, a, and then a horse fall of piss yeah. just rains down oh on your girl. lady. You're getting uh-huh. splashed, yeah. but she has got a firm grip. All right. And you're looking around yeah. going, for a voice of reason in the room, people are like, hey, man, we clearly see you're the new guy. Mm-hmm. Don't freak out. Yeah. That's, yeah. A, that's Tuesday. Don't freak out. They're comforting me. That's a Tuesday night yeah. in Hollywood. Yeah. So they're kind of like, it's okay. Like, just let it happen. Let it happen. Yeah. yeah. That's what you're going to learn when you get to Hollywood. Yeah. Just let Hollywood it happen. Sounds, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking nightmare. Just it's a nightmare. Is, yeah. Uh, so unless you go down to those fucking dungeons in downtown yeah. Los Angeles. Yeah. Look, at, oh. look, he's crying. He's yeah. crying. So <laughs> let, let me just let, <laughs> me, let me tell you, this, let me tell you what Los Angeles those sex is like. Clubs? Driving down, I was driving down uh, Santa Monica Boulevard, mm-hmm. and this is a true story. Uh, in front of me was a pickup truck that stopped in front of me and the, and flew out was an older guy and an older uh, transgendered lady, probably in her mid-50s. And they were involved in a really <laughs> intense yelling fight and it was almost like it was going to get physical in the yeah. middle of traffic. And coming the other way was Angeline. Oh, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. With the pink Corvette. She Angeline, had billboards of herself. She's just... <clears throat> Kind of a dying breed in the sense that she just bought celebrity. Yeah, she, she bought billboards of, of herself. Her. Yeah, and so you're just seeing there. And that, uh, this was when I the everything's I, pink in her life. I was doing pink. everything, and I didn't get a photo of this. Mm-hmm. And that was the most yeah. tragic moment of my life. Was I didn't get a photo of this brilliant yeah. happening that's never going to happen yeah. again. Yeah. Like a full on elder elderly transgender <laughs> fight with the guy I smell it truck, I smell it and Angeline coming the other way and I'm like this is just a photograph that sums up yeah, Los Hollywood. Angeles that's yeah. it yeah right there's, there. a, yeah. there's a I'm lot of Canada do you know just stand on the corner of Sunset and La Brea yeah. and tell me you're bored right mm. or terrified if you're mm. into people watching right and you appreciate the different characters mm-hmm. the exaggerated characters of life that's what's one of the great things about Los Angeles mm-hmm. You can yeah. see and the pop predators. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just a great place to get fucking yeah. your soul ripped from your fucking chest. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of characters there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. It's so nightmarish, though. Like, how many times have you had the kind of. <laughs> how many times have you. Because I know you get looped into roped into some bad shit yeah yeah i've seen some things <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you, what was your point of like uh were you like <sighs> <laughs> bad enough i'm still there <laughs> <laughs> i still have the boot on top of my head my neck uh, yeah i'm still there I just, it just become have normalized seen, have you seen anyone ever being uh punched in the ass strapped up on a wall and then like Punched I, in a bare ass. I saw because there uh, were some BDSM clubs downtown LA. I know. Mm. I knew. Uh, you ever go with the piss whistle? No, I knew a, 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 a dominatrix <laughs> that was trying to get me to make a film. For oh, her. I told you. And so she would tell me about, and I was getting her to tell me crazy stories. Yeah. Mm. And uh, but she told me about those. Cl- there's a club down there. They rent space and stuff. But I'm not. I personally am not into getting like. Punch the in the shit. face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> life life has done a good enough job at that yeah. already. I don't need to physically have that That's happen. That's what to I mean. Like, <laughs> some guy's getting his ass punched, yeah. and then they go, "Who else?" And you're like, "I'm yeah. out." Yeah, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> dude, life has beaten me up good enough, but I I like the fact yeah. that they're acting it out. But yeah. how, how else are you gonna network? You gotta go. That's the thing, right? <laughs> no. Honestly, no. I was told immediately, like, if you want to network in LA, start going to AA meetings or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, get sober. That's what you do. You go get yeah, sober you go in Los get Angeles. sober, and yeah. you can you can yeah. meet people. Yeah, and I was people. I don't hang out with losers or quitters, so <laughs> yeah. I never went. 
There's a lot. There's a lot of great characters in the twelve step meetings. I am wow. a great character. I know, but yeah. man, I don't need it anymore. Yeah. You get real life tragedy. <laughs> like it is just. There's so many layers of holy shit. Is this for real? Yeah. Well, you're getting the Bermuda Triangle of like. <laughs> Self help uh, yeah. epicenter. Yeah, a failure, you know? disappointment, delusion. I, you know the old white uh, haired guy that works at the Scientology building on uh, Hollywood Boulevard across from Starbucks? No, but that sound that, that all sounds oh, yeah. great. <laughs> See, Jeff Jeff doesn't go anything uh, uh, east of uh, La Brea. Or is the west of La Brea? I've done all of it. I've done all of Los Angeles. <laughs> I've only seen you in three square blocks. Like, you've got some prison <laughs> range. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> That's because I had a thing around my ankle. I could only go so far away oh, from my place. Is that what that was? Yeah. Have you been arrested? <laughs> no. Have you been arrested? No. <laughs> Have you been arrested? I've been arrested. Yeah. It came up in the last part of my green card. Oh, yeah. An arrest from early uh, 1991. Oh, wow. And I had, by the book, I did everything by the book. The only reason I didn't bring it up is because it wasn't like a violent crime or mm -hmm. a drug-related thing. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and that, like peeing on an old lady? Yeah. More or less. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> it's on BDS. I was in the one time. I was just trying, trying to fit in. Yeah, yeah. trying to fit in. <laughs> Networking. And the guy pulled it up. Like, like when I so gave them, uh, he pulls out my green, my green card so over five years, I've been sending in everything from fingerprints to chest x-rays, legal documents. Chest x-rays? Come on. I think a chest x-ray of tuberculosis. What? Yeah, all kinds of shit. So they, wow. the guy, I'm at the last part, Montreal, U.S. Embassy. I show up. It's fucking December in Montreal. It sucks. It's freezing. It's fucking freezing. They tell me that I can't come in with a backpack because it's a consulate. My laptop's in there. I can't miss this green card appointment. I'm literally in a lineup to go in, and that door closes at a certain time, and that's it. Mm. You don't get to reapply. And I'm at the end of the line. Five years, thousands of dollars, lawyer fees, all things I anticipated. Now I'm waiting in line, mm -hmm. and they're telling me, you're fucked. And I'm like, where do I, can I just leave my... Is there? They go now. They might be lockers at the mall. So I'm in running shoes because I think I'm only going to be in the snow for minutes. And now I'm in a, a smoker's sprint towards a shopping mall to throw my laptop in a bag to maybe get back in time to be uh, brought into the consulate to do the final interview. Mm. And they go. I do the first one, which is more or less to set up the appointment in the same building to go to the second one. Curtain opens up, shh, American flag, guy's there. He's the first person that smiled at me during this whole process. I also got my brains blown out crossing into Buffalo with my file to register because the guy I was in the car with had uh, ran the border. Mm -hmm. And I was also uh, banned from the U.S. for a duration of time. Um, and... Uh, now the, they pull out guns. He goes through the whole checklist. And uh, I'm answering, yes, yes, yes. And then he goes, have you been arrested? At the very end. He's just, he's, I remember the book. He's got the book like this. He's, he goes through the whole thing. The last page, he goes, have you been arrested? I said, no. No, I have not. He's like, are you sure? And right there, he's giving me a branch, right? And I'm like, yes, I was. It wasn't for anything scandalous. He asked me for what for, and I explained to them I was running down the highway naked on a holiday long weekend in rural northern Ontario and uh, pissing into the traffic and throwing beer cans. <laughs> and some camping family complained that these three <laughs> assholes from no Ontario, fun. scumbags, mm -hmm. just... Fubar, like uh, uh, Hesher, fucking. You, you guys know what a skid is. You don't. You never call the kids. You call them Heshers or something like. Losers. Losers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were fucking losers. <laughs> hey, you you were a loser too. Yeah, as in everybody. Yeah. <laughs> were you? You were never a loser. I. <laughs> His dad. It was a homecoming. First team. of all, yeah. ten years old. 195 
Hundred, what are you? Pounds. Well, you were I already a, full grown. I was a fat kid. Yeah. Oh, nice. Just a, just a big, big, big. Fatty. You have a good personality than if you were a chick. Fatty. Yeah, right. If yeah. you were a girl, you'd uh-huh. have a great personality. Yeah, <laughs> you have to. <laughs> if you're a cocksucker, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> One ninety-five, mm-hmm. and you were ten years old. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What size waist were you what, wearing? A thirty-eight, forty-two, yeah, something like that. Thirty-six, something like that. What was the yeah. thing? What were you into? What was like mm-hmm. the food thing that you were just all McDonald's. about? McDonald's. Yeah, just fast food. <sighs> How yeah, many yeah. times were you going to hit the McDonald's? Like two or three times a day. Yeah. Big Macs. Yeah, just with my French mom. Fries? Yeah. Is your is your mom a big lady? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> your, this whole conversation was to find out if your mom's yeah. big or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I told you he's a motherfucker. Yeah. You gotta get your mother out of here now. Yeah, yeah. I can't believe I brought her. No, wow. did your mom, your parents? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a sister that hates your guts? I have a younger <laughs> sister and an older brother, and they have kids. So I'm an mm-hmm. uncle. Ah, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. No kids. No, I don't have any kids. No, it's well, great. I got six kids from five different women in four different states, and so my third name change because I'm not a fucking That's idiot. That's cool. Yeah. So I have a keep friend uh, who plays from the same book where he gets tested for HIV every year, but he changes his phone number afterwards so the doctor can't tell him. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah. He goes, I get tested every year, but I change my phone number so they can't call me. Uh, resourceful. He said, deny, deny, deny till you believe it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Can you get used to that? Just denying? Just denying? Yeah, no. Yeah. Look. HIV? You could. I could. I could do it's HIV. Tough, yeah. yeah. I think, I think we I should could. all get teardrop tattoos after this. I think so. Yeah. 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 yeah I think yeah. we've really bonded. Yeah. What are you going to do? Nothing up on the throat? I mean, I <laughs> <laughs> get some tattoos up my throat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, yeah. I've been thinking about I'll mess up my my money maker. Yeah, my yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mr. December 1998. Yeah, <laughs> you were probably an item when you got to Hollywood. When I was a young whippersnapper. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I was I was dreamy. I could have been someone. Yeah, I'd have just been cool. Yeah, dudes. we're just yeah. telling you, don't waste your holes. Mm-hmm. Uh, you okay. got to get that yeah. that HBO like executive lady. She's going to like you're going to get punched, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in the in the ass. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's not yeah. a bad deal. Right. You know, she cuts you a special mm-hmm. and then every morning you stumble up to the foot of the bed mm-hmm. and she gives you a fucking haymaker. Yeah. She's yeah. a kickboxing for 3 years just to punch guys in the ass. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she gets yeah. a good right hook. Maybe mm-hmm. because she got you know, drilled so hard she had a hard time walking, mm-hmm. and she mm-hmm. felt a lot of shame in that. Mm-hmm. And uh, but she enjoyed it a good pound, and um, to kind of you know people of authority they start to get into some pretty humiliating uh, situations like those piss drinkers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> Very therapeutic. Yeah. You drink piss too? No. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. I'm not into urine therapy. You're not in the. But crew? I know it's popular. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of people like it's a lot of healing benefits. Yeah, yeah. Jeff said it was like, dude, that's so old fashioned. Like, yeah. what do you, yeah, you kids? Not, come bored, on. That's bored, like the Topanga Canyon it, really. thing. <laughs> Topanga. It's like a very hippie ish, uh, yeah. Echo Park. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's moved into Echo Park. Yeah. <laughs> um, you're in town for business. Well, I mean, if there's a film festival, I'm here. Yeah. To, I'm showing two of my uh, music videos. They've been selected. One of them won. Well, they both won. One was a finalist, and the other one won Best Comedy Music Video. And you direct them? Yep. They always look great. Your stuff always looks great. Uh, if yeah. people only knew, if only knew. <laughs> how incompetent <laughs> you are. Like, exactly. How does this you, guy do I'm this? Like, I've never <laughs> seen anybody pull, like artistic high level productions mm-hmm. with like the most kind of fun uncommercial like punk rock shit that looks mm-hmm. like you really had to solicit people for money for this like it's right. it's not this is not a fucking well i i have ghostbusters a, production no, i have uh so it's usually just me and my cinematographer yeah that guy you John's must be brilliant. married to that person he's well we're he, both we're 
I, we met a long time ago. I, was, I made a music video for the band Chevelle, and he was the cinematographer. Ah, yeah. And then I ran into him years later, and uh, I had made the my first music video. I kind of was just handing people the camera and stuff, and I was pretty good with art direction. Yeah. And I just need someone that was like a brilliant cinematographer to match it. And he had a similar sense of humor. So I showed him uh, my first music video, which was called The Pussy Pounder, which was really a very lovely music video. And he thought it was hilarious and wanted to shoot all my stuff. And so we've just, over the years, we've developed a really good uh, rapport with one another. We have a similar sense of humor, but I didn't want to do... Uh, and he's willing to work for half the money? Uh, well, no, we, some of them I would uh, I would do professional jobs and I would split whatever I made with him. Yeah. And then now, I, I mean, I pay him. He yeah, yeah, paid, yeah. But he doesn't get paid like his normal rate. Yeah. He was when he just like professional jobs. But it's funny, he was on my podcast. In our earlier videos, he wouldn't want to have his name on it. <laughs> yeah. Because he thought that he'd screw up his professional. Yeah, work. yeah. You're going to fuck up his LinkedIn yeah. account. Yeah. And then, uh, and then he said, like, there's probably like <laughs> 10 directors that they know him from the work we've done. Yeah. And it's so Isn't funny. So weird? he's gotten all these jobs yeah. from the stuff that we've done, his, opposed to doing these like stupid dirty commercial. Secret. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, it's we're doing like art. We're doing like, uh, I mean, it was kind of like doing the songs and music videos that would never get made if I was some big commercial act with a label. Well, you show stuff. people getting sucked off in limousines. Did I have that? Yet? Yeah, I guess I did. Big time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good time. In a bus. The good life. Yeah. Yeah. Good the life homeless. video. <laughs> homeless guy <laughs> sucks off. <laughs> You get su I got sucked off as the homeless guy. You got yeah. sucked off. <laughs> yeah. Who <laughs> at was, the end of the video, Farley, who, my friend Farley. That's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> well, Twiggy sat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twiggy was in there. We did the song. I did the song with Twiggy, who's from Marilyn. Man was in Marilyn Manson. Uh, <laughs> it was a, that was a popular. His makeup video. in that is haunting. He did mm -hmm. that. Yeah. He did that himself. Yeah, Jordy's brilliant. Yeah, it was. Uh, uh, it was. Uh, his, very, his, very, girl, his wife at the time, Lainey, did my the special effects makeup. They're not. She's. I remember you went to the wedding. Yeah, I was on uh, the groomsman. <laughs> 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 and uh, Dean Snyder was the. Uh, oh, <laughs> Dean Snyder. One of the greatest rock documentaries. Yeah. That mm. Twisted Sister I documentary. Seen it yet. I need to see it. It's one of the one of the look, yeah, top it. five. He's great, and he was the. Uh, do you know the band Twisted Sister? Yeah. Nope. Do yeah. You? Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm just teasing. Yeah. Don't yeah. listen to us. It's over for us. Yeah. We're fucked. No. Yeah, man. No. Jeff came over here to kill himself. <laughs> and I came here to <laughs> beat off of his dead body. <laughs> now I'm doing the show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is all time lows for all of us. You're clearly panicked and yeah. looking around no. going, I, this boat's sinking. Yeah. I need to get out. These guys look like I toilet don't brushes. Like this. Yeah. 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 No, you're going to be, everything's going to be great. Yeah. And now you get a friend in LA. Yeah. That's not a murderous scumbag. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know we did. You were on my podcast, and uh, so I had like some queuing on people that got fixated with what I did. So I had someone thinking that I was like an actual because they took, they spliced up something we said because we we're making fun of serial killers. That I am a serial killer, which is great. I'm trying to recruit I'm, you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So I have that going for me. So there's a group of people out there that think I'm a, I'm like a and serial killer. And you're really killer. successful serial killer. Yeah, I'm like so you good at it. You speak at universities or <laughs> yeah. something like that. Listen, hi, everybody. You've seen Dexter yes. while I'm living this. Yes. You want to be a character actor yeah. in Hollywood yeah. and an underground serial killer on the side. Well, you've done <laughs> motivational speaking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that could be the yeah mm. artistic flair to it. You go into like a mental hospital and just talk everybody into just <laughs> recruiting them as... An army of retarded killers. Yeah. If you're either going to kill yourself or kill someone else, yeah. you know, yeah. figure you're it out. 2,000 people in your hometown. Yes. <laughs> now, what, what did you do in there? Like, what was your into? McDonald's and what else? Video uh, games. I grew up playing. Dad games. was the attorney a lot of in a small games. town. Oh, nice. Was yeah. he the guy? Like, class action. Like, wait, we have class action. He'd like a def defense attorney mm -hmm. yeah. suing like big companies. No, I say criminal defense. Oh, nice. Ooh. Like, yeah. if somebody. Uh, did something he got him off like there's mm -hmm. a lot of crim yeah. like like that guy with the meth lab or something he got him off yeah something like that or nice. somebody just got caught with meth and yeah something like that nice he's helping only yeah. in the, in that a lot of state that. <laughs> a lot of that a lot of that <laughs> did he ever come home with like i can't even talk about this case mm -hmm. i'm gonna go beat off right yeah he this didn't talk much, much about any of them yeah <laughs> we had one guy uh, i'm not supposed never mind oh no you don't want to talk about that <laughs> i'm supposed to yeah no but. 
Um, uh, and then so you once seeing like your dad being a, def, a, a attorney mm-hmm. representing terrible people, you figured you know what? Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna actually just be a comedian and just talk about terrible people <laughs> and not defend them. Hey, yeah, I'm right, right here. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a terrible person. Yeah. <laughs> So is that so? What what goes on in the small town? Uh, Video games, McDonald's. Yeah, a lot of people farm, and I farming. Do, I, that's yeah, good. But I didn't do that. I played baseball, and that was oh, like, nice. sports and farming is pretty much all that you can. You don't even pick. Were you f- fat all the way through, like in high school and stuff, or did you kind of turn the corner? No, I lost. I lost it like around high school. Okay, when I got in high school when the yeah. puberty hit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Was yeah. it that? It was like these boners need to go somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I need to make some that was a big dick motive. deliveries. Big and uh, Pillsbury yeah. fat kid yeah. isn't gonna fly down <laughs> the fuck bus. <laughs> yeah, I was started fall- start <laughs> falling. I didn't want to have diabetes. No, so, uh, it was the health issue yeah. kickstarted it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And but grandma. German grandmother, mm-hmm. dad, yeah. loaded nice. him up, fucking jacked him up on chocolate, yeah. blew nice. him out <laughs> with love. <laughs> now, did you go to college? Uh, yeah. Where did mm-hmm. you go to school? Oh, Four yeah. schools. I went to, nice, dude. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, went to school for just communicate. I was just bouncing around. I didn't really. I wanted to do comedy, but I was too nervous to do it. And then I kind of just bounced around colleges until I decided to do stand up, and then dropped out to do it. He's oh, got nice. three yeah. pictures on his Instagram. That's, it sounds like you're really making a go of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very ambitious person. What do you got yeah. coming up on your social media? Uh-huh. What crazy sketches are you going to... Yeah, uh, Probably nothing. Just hanging out. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Just hanging out with yeah. comedians. Yeah. No, not much. Honestly, don't get out much. I'm not good at the hang, honestly. Don't. Yeah. Most don't, of don't. those... People are fucking losers. Are you? Are you do you get up and do stand up? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Good. He's good. He's yeah. good. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. thanks, Chase. Well, you have to screw hanging out with a comedian. Just get really good as a stand up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. There's yeah. a couple ways to go. You can that do. hang, like it's worse. Yeah. It's the patio at the store with none mm-hmm. of the good parts. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what this is. Uh, mm-hmm. So, uh, you know how it's like free range retards right. on that front mm-hmm. patio. That's right. what the comedy. Now that you've got all this, tr- some people really want to do it. They're maybe uh, not interested in being part of the club, mm. but want to be good comics. Right. Per mm. se, you know. So uh, there's nothing wrong with being. Ta- I've withdrawn from seeing just because the uh, most of the comics are terrible. Mm-hmm. Not even is. Yeah. entertainers but just as people they're just right. like fucking does that, clueless right mm-hmm. you they're gonna get raped yeah. by <laughs> satan like I, 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 I love seeing people satan. go to la you know because i went in satan i never yeah. uh, uh thought of i never expected anything Definitely. from the hollywood uh thing but uh you know you know you see those people and they're wow Mm-hmm. It's gonna happen here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a yeah. lot of disappointment in Los Angeles. <laughs> it's so yeah. great. That's why it's when people beautiful. freak out, yeah, it's it's yeah. it's they hate it when they come here. LA, yeah. LA comics when they come do time here, they they hate it. They're what? miserable. So there's all the there's a bunch of LA no, comedians they, that have come here. They come through here occasionally. Yeah, I doubt anybody you would know, but just like kind of like B level or in, and I guess C level. I don't know people who no, just some A's. Yeah. yeah, but they uh, but it's usually look. It's like that a- LA attitude follows them everywhere, mm. you know, because they definitely they want to be part of Hollywood so badly, right? That they'll do anything to be part of Hollywood so yeah. badly. What is yeah. Hollywood anymore? I, I don't know. Even know. Just being like a TikTok star or something. I don't as even... soon as they vacuumed up the House of Blues, I was a little mm. nervous. Yeah. I was like, no one's safe on yeah. this street hasn't tiktok like taken it over That's yeah i i mean i'm kind of, i live there but i don't really know what goes on mm-hmm. you know I, <laughs> yeah <laughs> i have a little i have a small mm-hmm. world i just yeah i just uh record music mm-hmm. with some people and then i make my stupid videos and sometimes i act in stuff mm-hmm. and other than that i have no idea what yeah. goes on yeah. in the world i yeah. see people here and there but i haven't been in the stand-up world for for a long long time but mm-hmm. um uh, so I don't know what the hell happens. It sounds like the way to go. You got, you're making it sound like a hellhole of a place. No, I think <laughs> oh, if I was about to done it, if I would have knew what I was doing, if I was going to be a comedian, you wouldn't. You come to a place that is an active stand-up world, mm-hmm. and then you 
you want to develop your act. You want to get as much stage time as possible. I think then LA is not a good place to get stage time. No, New York right. would probably be a way to go. Like you yeah. get like a thing because you that's the city of live performance, and then you can yeah. do so many shows a night. Mm -hmm. But I would get uh, somewhat of an act to figure out your point of view, and then there's like different smaller markets. Like San Francisco was good years a long time ago. I don't, it's got to be terrible now. I don't even know. I think Austin is going through that like San that. Francisco thing. There's probably a lot, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, and it's good. You get to know a lot of the other comedians, you know, and then it's like, you know. Oh, trust me, it's a lot of these people that you have concerns about that are in the thing, they're going to be gone in two months, right. maybe yeah. six months. Some of them might even last a year. Yeah. But as the water starts rising, you're going to see people drowning. Yeah, I've already seen people come and go, and I've yeah. only been here for like six months. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, a t it's a tough life. I mean, mm -hmm. it's got to. No, yeah, I mean, you see it, why. Yeah, to be like a road car. I mean, when I was. It's cooler now because you have the internet. There's so many possibilities. Yeah. You can really. When I was doing stand up back then and thought about being a feature comic, you know, they, you'd have to like go brain all this merchandise, and that's how you're going to make money to get to the next town. Mm. And it was like the most. It was the saddest, right. loneliest. Like the wrestler. Yeah. yeah I was yeah. just like. Like the wrestler. Yeah. And I, I mean, I, I, my goal that <laughs> when I started out, I didn't know that I wanted to be a stand up necessarily. I just wanted to be. A, play weird characters in movies like mm -hmm. and then i was doing the stand-up and it was fun and i loved it but then i had that moment of like what the fuck am i doing i mean yeah. i would love to have started now because there's you have everything in the world you mm -hmm. can like the of getting stuff out there and getting people to figure out who you are but god back in the day that was like a like sad like instagram life. maybe not having right. three pictures yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's brutal i, I was like <laughs> I was like, he seems to be yeah. trying on stage. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what you got. Are you still on video games? Mm -hmm. No, not really. I don't. Pretty do much you, all you I should do, do is Twitch. Stand, right? stand up's pretty much all I do. You could just do it. what Twitch, where they play video games and talk shit. Mm -hmm. That's what yeah, I right. do. But you can't say "cunt" oh. or use those words that you use in the street, right? Mm -hmm. To talk to people. <laughs> 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 I don't even know. I don't. I'm. I'm now like a fucking. I'm an old person, so I'm right. like I've seen Twitch and people <laughs> make you money. Your hands? <laughs> like, I'm an old you just, person. I don't you even just know. Do it. Pick me you up. Just, yeah, <laughs> that's what it's like. Yeah. I, and people are apparently making a, a living on Twitch. I guess. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you my can get an OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. You could do that. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah. Hey, everybody went porno yeah. as soon as COVID mm -hmm. hit. Pornification is now normalized. But porn mm -hmm. is—it's so overexposed now. No yeah, pun like, intended. Yeah, who the hell's paying these to see all these like sad? They show these First videos. First of all, like, I've come seen on. a lot of ass in your videos. You show a hole. You sh dude, a hole. <laughs> some of those <laughs> fucking girls, with all due respect, you've had some <laughs> hot naked women like show their cunts to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I've seen the videos yeah. and they're facing. They don't have underwear on, and you're staring yeah. right at it. Yeah. <laughs> Which one of these is that? <laughs> well, I've seen like there's yeah. all these music videos. It's like cut to me staring at some girl's cunt. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's you. Yeah. It's always you. Listen, no, uh, that, uh, 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 um, uh, what was it? We're wearing a metallic suit. Oh, the cock that heals. Yeah, the cock that yeah. heals. That's there's the you one. staring at some uh, girl's cunt. Her ass is to the camera. Look at, he's, well, he's, he's digging for it in the back. <laughs> he knows what kind I'm talking about. <laughs> I mean, I don't think there was. I don't remember staring at a. No, but yeah, she had no underwear. Do you know what's on. amazing though? Like when I made those videos, people were like, "How the hell did you get these girls to do that?" And a lot of those girls are pitching me to be in the videos, you know, and. Really? Yeah. It was, and there's no budget. I thought you were a con man. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were like, listen. No, get, but they, when they do it, they end yeah. up getting oh. a lot of direct. I have a lot of directors and stuff. A lot of people watch, so they end up getting cast in other stuff, and that's how they get discovered. Sure. They're different, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But, Look, you know, the, hey, there's attractive well, women. People like to watch a music video with attractive women. Mm -hmm, women there, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm not you don't want to see some fucking that, dump gotta, truck, pig, <laughs> Rosie no O'Donnell pay attention moving furniture. To me. No. If it's just me in the video, no one's paying attention. Right. No. i got to do yeah. every they, trick possible. They do look at... No, yeah, you, you hate hanging out with them. That's yeah, you know, it's it's, a sacrifice. Well, you got to be very professional, you mm -hmm. know, because they're not going to... Uh, no. Right. Yeah. No. No. you got to be very professional. you got to be very professional. Mm -hmm. You get kicked in the face yeah. by a hooker. Yeah. <laughs> like it sucks. <laughs> it sucks. No, I've had a lot of amazing. In the video, I've you had a lot in the of face, but <laughs> have I been, <laughs> have I been no? If you disrespect a, a girl, no, you can't like, do that. Some girl's mm -hmm. completely naked, and you're mm -hmm. trying to do a scene, 
and uh, somebody, one of the grips goes, hey, shave your asshole, Martha. Yeah. And she kicks that guy in the face. Right. He gets fired. Yeah, that makes sense, though. <laughs> <laughs> on the shows I work on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> yeah, you have to be very respectful. To, uh... <laughs> no, I just, it's just fun. It's just, you know, you just ca- it's put together a bunch of fun people that know that we're going to do weird. It's not, there's no surprises. Yeah, it's right. It's kind of like... But you've had situations where you've said, "Oh, this person will do something outrageous," but then you get as you get more invested in them doing the thing, you start to realize, "Oh, these people are crazy. This is a mentally ill person." Well, I haven't. She's shooting up. I did. You know, I made some videos a long time ago, and I had, I just, I had some homeless people in a video, and it was, and and you think they're not, they weren't natural. They weren't very good actors. <laughs> Because they would actually try to act, which yeah, was not. I just right. be yourself would be mm-hmm. the natural thing. I, you know, all the people I've had, uh, even when I did the, the, the music video, the dry humping peeping Tom, and I had you know like fifteen people that are non actors. But when you're, because I'm, I'm kind of directing myself. So when they see me do a performance and they see mm-hmm. I'm fully committed, then they're like, oh fuck, that's what we're doing. Right. So then everyone would fully commit, and it was amazing because these aren't these are like normal people. Mm-hmm. Monkey see, and, monkey do. Yeah, right? they're like, it's yeah. when you watch some of these videos and you realize, dude, that's just one guy with a guy with a camera, mm-hmm. and we are, and then people aren't even real actors, and we're, no <laughs> permits. Yeah, no, for, no permits. Everything's permit. stolen. Totally sued. <laughs> just a sued situation. Yeah. Um, what what's, uh, yeah. what dates are you have screenings here? Uh, tomorrow, whatever tomorrow, the second at some film November second. And uh, where are you at the Buzz Mill on a Wednesday for <laughs> yeah, four <laughs> fucking chicks with higher yeah. armpits? Uh, I'll be on standby tomorrow at the Buzz Mill. Are you on standby <laughs> at the Buzz Mill tomorrow? What's the Buzz Mill? That's it's a, a local it's a coffee house. Yeah. Oh, it's coffee like, house. Yeah. It's like doing you know the bean, the coffee bean uh, over by the Laugh Factory. <laughs> they stand up there. Uh, it's like doing uh, stand up in that. No, no, it's not quite that bad. It's more like. Um, well, you just got to get on stage as much as you can. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like if, uh, what's that steakhouse that people get shot in front of on Sunset Boulevard? Saddle Ranch. Saddle Ranch, yeah. Think of Saddle Ranch if it was run by dirty hippies. Oh, wow. It has that outdoor area, but it mm-hmm. fills up. I don't yeah, know. they fill it up not too bad most of the time. Yeah. Nice. Mm-hmm. I uh, I can't go on there. They won't let you. How many? You no. probably banned you from half Have the you been here. <laughs> well, everyone settled down. I'll be fine. Yeah. I chose not to. <laughs> Out of fear of uh, having women have miscarriages during mm-hmm. the course of my performance. Mm-hmm. That's uh, that would be convenient too. It's like right around the corner from here. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. because you can't have abortions here or something, right? So they probably come Mm-mm. to your show. Shows have miscarriages. <laughs> so, yeah. What a great way to end the podcast, everybody. Uh, Jeff Hilliard dot com yeah. dot TV dot TV. Some guy mm-hmm. has dot com. It's done nothing with it for the last twenty years. Really? What Bastard. the fuck's that all about? Yeah, that's not cool when yeah. people squat yeah. on here. Or you can get your name and just do nothing with it. Yeah. yeah. Pictures of cows. It's can you pull up your phone and show show <laughs> Jeff your Instagram feed? Sure. Uh, as we go out, how, how can people find you on Instagram to see the cow? Uh, it's Mikey Biggs underscore Mac. Mikey Biggs underscore Mac. Um, like the you're like the Mac. Jeez. Or just because you have you like Mac he doesn't computers. Know. He has, a, he barely opens his Instagram. He has to download <laughs> the app. Return of the Mac. He's the only guy with the MySpace my app. Song when I made the Instagram. Did you? Da- are you downloading it? <laughs> I had to get it back. No yeah, way. <laughs> this guy's totally screwed. You better get a good act together. It's going to be the biggest thing in the fucking... Oh, you're killing it. Yeah. Oh, my God. You are the terrible. future. <laughs> what a waste. He's like, get at me, girls. <laughs> I got a lot of shit going on. Here's a cat. Yeah. <laughs> Taking um, over. I love yeah, it. I got a clip now. That's good. Thanks for being on the show, guys. Yeah. Uh, looking forward to uh, tomorrow at the Buzz Mill yeah, on standby. Through, yeah, 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 I'm gonna, yeah, I'll be there <laughs> smoking cigarettes, scowling at the hopefuls. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Delusional kids that think they have some kind of future. Yeah. Happy, happy, happy. Fuckers. <laughs> happy Halloween, everybody. Oh, and. Um, This is, uh, that's for you. Oh, nice. Yeah. Kill your local rapist. Join nice. Clothing uh, yeah. sent me some stickers. Yeah, yeah. We've got I like that. some Swedish 
some fetus stuff. Anyway, yeah. thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, and uh, watch out on December 15th. I'll be uh, releasing my special on uh, the internet somewhere. But uh, send me an email at Jason Rouse at gmail.com and I'll send you uh, some info. Uh, let's smoke some cigarettes, gentlemen. All right. All right. We would like to see most of the human race killed off because it is unworthy. It is unworthy of the gift of life. I don't care what society thinks. They're nothing anyway. They're no better than me. Until we have